From Unreal Tournament, Bioshock, Batman Arkham, Final Fantasy VII Remake, to of course Fortnite, the Unreal Engine is the backbone of so many of our favorite games. Let's take a trip down memory lane to see just how far the game development technology has come. For all the latest, make sure to like this video and subscribe to GameSpot. Unreal Engine 3. This light, for example, has a cowling that casts soft shadows on the scene around it. This is accomplished using a light function. In this case, the function takes two cube maps, one very crisp and the other blurred. Unreal Engine 3 allows total control over how objects interact with the environment. All of the objects in this scene are physically responsive in some way. Here we have another lighting function a stained glass environment that is being rotated along the cube. Because it's a light, it both attenuates and shadows realistically. This particular model is about 7,500 polygons for the low resolution mesh and about 2 million polygons for the high resolution mesh. Many of the smaller details in the high res mesh, like the wrinkles around its mouth and throat, were hand painted into the normal map. This lets artists add an extra level of detail without having to model it by hand. We've done significant work on the character pipeline. On the left here you see Marcus Phoenix as he appears in Gears of War. And on the right he's being rendered in our new character pipeline. You see there's much greater contrast in the shadows, um, much greater specular lighting bouncing off of the thing. If you remember in Gears of War you fought the Locust Horde, where the Horde consisted of maybe like five or six locusts. But now we can really build scenes containing hordes of creatures. Besides the realistic water physics simulation running underneath, we also have realistic specular and environment reflections bouncing off of the water. So it captures much more of the realistic liquidy feel you see there.
But this GDC they have shown some fantastic new stuff starting at digital performance in Unreal Engine 4 by Andy Serkis and you might know him as Gollum from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and he, f he plays a digital human and it looks like himself um, but he uh, but later you, you will see that this facial recording can also be used for an alien like character and um, yeah it's, it has a lot of of usability. Thousands of you have asked how our latest real-time cinematic rebirth was made, almost not believing that the technology has come to this point where photorealism is possible in real time. But we're here to tell you that finally, photorealism is now not only possible in real time and for games being made right now, but that when you use these cutting-edge real-time tools and assets, it's incredibly easy. What you see is not pre-rendered, this is running in real time on a mainstream gaming computer with a single 1080 Ti. Not only that, this is a fully interactive world. It's completely playable. I'm just gonna jump into the game here and have a quick run around the scene. So as you can see, you can fully interact with the physics objects of the scene. Everything has collisions. If I push this little rock off here, it's going to go falling down. The other great thing that we can do is change the lighting. Full dynamic lighting helps us work much faster. We could also make the most of Unreal Engine's volumetric effects. The dynamic lighting really helped us on our short film. It meant that we could iterate very quickly on our shots and adjust things in real time. This has to be the right way. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. They are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. The portal is open. I am a metahuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. Metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user, on our new content creation platform, Metahuman Creator. I am fully rigged, ready for animation and motion capture, allowing you to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly on other characters. I have eight levels of detail and have been tested on a wide range of hardware platforms, from feature film to mobile. If you're interested in learning about my animation rig or high fidelity deformations, built on control rig, the new strand based hair system via the groom component, or how everything is tied together and animated in sequencer. 
Then have a look under the hood in this project. This is just a glimpse of things to come. Architect.